Okay, so put away your calculators, your paper and pencil, and let's see if you can solve this simple practical math problem all in your head. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, we have a rectangular room that is 10 feet by 20 feet, and we wanna tile this room. We wanna tile the floor of this room with tiles that cost us $1.50 per square foot. So the question is, what is the total cost to do this job? All right, so once again, no calculators, no paper, no pencil, no nothing, but to feel free to use that supercomputer that you have. And if you don't know if you have a supercomputer, what we all do, it's located right here, right between your ears, and that's far better than any artificial intelligence. That's actual intelligence. All right, so go ahead and put your answers into the comment section. I'll share the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step and show you how we can do these quick mental calculations all in our brain. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go to take a look at this problem. Now, just because we're using mental math here doesn't mean that this has to be a fast problem. In other words, don't feel compelled to rush to get the solution, all right? So once again, we have a rectangular room that's 10 feet by 20 feet. We wanna tile the floor of this room with tiles that cost us $1.50 per square foot. So what is the total cost to do this job? Well, let's go and take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer is $300. All right, so if you did all this work and you got the right answer all in your brain, well, you definitely got yourself a happy face and A+. Plus. So congratulations. Now, if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you know, um, I could do this problem, but, uh, you know, I just can't do all this work in my brain. Well, no big deal, right? As long as you understand the math that can solve this problem, you know, if I gave you a piece of paper and pencil, that is the most important thing. So what we're doing here is really just kind of practice or trying to strengthen, rather, this muscle, which is kind of our mental math muscle. And if you don't do these or if you don't practice trying to do calculations or simple calculations in your brain, well, again, it's like a muscle that we need to strengthen, right? So if you don't practice, it's going to become weak. So let's just go ahead and have fun with this problem. But uh, of course, I wanna make sure that you understand the mathematics, even if you had a calculator or paper or pencil to solve the problem. Okay, so here is the situation. So to solve this problem, we do need to know uh, something about a rectangle, all right? So we have a rectangular room here. So uh, I'll get to something here in just one second, but first, let's kind of go over to this information. So we have uh, a tile. Now we wanna put, put this particular tile down on the floor of this room, all right? So just a real basic description of a rectangle is what? Well, the opposite sides, right? are the same. So if this is 20 feet, this is 20 feet, this is 10 feet, and this is 10 feet, and we have a right uh, right angles here, 90 degree angles, right? So that means that we could, you know, put these lovely squares right here, our little tiles, right, you know, nicely, you know, onto this floor, okay? We would have to use how many tiles this direction, okay? So let's think about this because this is important. So our tiles is $1.50 per square foot. Now we don't know the actual uh, size of the tiles, okay? So that's really not that important, but let's imagine that these tiles are one feet by one feet, all right? So in other words, one foot by one foot rather. So this is one tile, okay? So if I have a tile and it's a one foot by one foot tile, well, one of these tiles is gonna cost me how much? Well, it's gonna cost me $1.50. So if you kind of think about it in these terms, we're like, all right, well, a tile costs us $1.50 per square foot, and that is what the cost means, right? It means per one square feet. So let's go ahead and talk about square feet. What does that mean? Well, square feet, we can also think of that um, abbreviation, square feet mathematically this way, that's feet squared. If I have feet squared, it's the same thing as a square foot. So let me go ahead and show you this here because even though some of you have the right answer, I wanna make sure that you understand uh, the geometry here. Okay, so here is our square tile. So let's suppose we have one foot here and one foot here, 
and I want to calculate the area or the coverage uh, amount. Now, the area of something is kind of the coverage amount that we want to kind of think about, right? So if I'm like, how much does, you know, how much uh, area or how much room or how much, you know, material does this thing cover? Well, that concept is called area in math. So to find the area of a square, what we do is take the side and we multiply it by the side. So the side times the side, of course, is side squared. So here I would take this one foot and I would multiply it by this other one foot. So one times one, of course, is one. But here we have feet times feet. We can't forget about the units of measure. So feet times feet is feet squared, right? Now we can write this as square feet. So that's a real important aspect uh, to this problem. Now, I think a lot of you, you know, may not even understand this part of the problem and still got the right answer because we are talking about practical math here. So that is fantastic. But uh, we do need to understand that we are dealing with units of measure. Okay, so that is one good way to think about this problem. Now, again, you know, we're talking about mental math here. So hopefully you're like, all right, $1.50 per square foot. That means if I have a one by one, tile, right? This thing is going to cost me a um, dollar fifty. All right, so dollar fifty. Okay, so now the question really comes down to how many uh, tiles do we need to cover uh, this floor? All right, so this is a ten foot by twenty foot rectangular room. So what we want to do is calculate the area, and because we're dealing with feet, we're going to end up with feet squared. All right, so what's the area? of a rectangle. Well, the area of a rectangle is the length times the width. So that'd be 20 times 10. And this is pretty simple math that uh, most of us should be able to do in our brain. So 20 times 10, of course, is 200. But 200 what? Well, 200 feet squared, right? So this room is 200 uh, feet squared. In other words, uh, we could put down two, we need 200 one by one foot tiles, right, to cover this room, all right, so this is a, a, an important aspect, and I think most people, you know, understand that, but I want to review the math here, because the calculations are not that difficult, I want to make sure that nobody is not getting this problem right, because of the math, all right, so the first thing we want to realize is that if we are using one foot by one foot tiles, we're going to need 200 of these tiles to cover this 10 by 20 foot room, Okay, so we need 200 tiles at $1.50 per tile. So now comes the fun part, and that is what is the cost uh, to do this job, right, in materials per se. Okay, so we need to do this math, right? So 200 times $1.50 will give us the total cost because we're going to need 200 tiles, and each tile is $1.50 per square foot. Okay, so how do we do this math? So mentally, right, the way most people will probably think about it is they'll take this 200 and they'll think of this dollar 50 in terms of this way. Now, of course, this is going on in our brains. So, uh, and by the way, not everyone's brain is going to be working the same, right? So some people might be like, all right, let me see here. I got 200, I need, I have a dollar 50 here. So they might think of this as one dollar first, and then they have to add on 200 times 50 cents, right? So we got 50 cents right here, okay? So we need to get the uh, total cost. Now this is, again, going on in our brain because most people are probably gonna uh, split up this uh, $1.50. You're not going to do for the most part. Now everyone is different. Uh, most people aren't going to take this 200 and multiply by 150. Although some people can do that, that's fine. Really this is one and one half or one, uh, yeah, one, and uh, one half, yeah, that's uh, the same thing as 1.5. So there's different ways to approach this, but I think the way I'm going to explain it here is the easiest way to solve this using practical math. Again, everyone's brain works different. All right, so let's go ahead and just do this right here. So if we have uh, these, if these tiles were a dollar per square foot, so we have, we need 200, so we would need $200, right? If our tiles were only a dollar, okay? But they're not a dollar they're a dollar and 50 cents, okay? So we need to add on another 50 cents to the cost. So 50 cents times 200 is what? Okay, well, 50 cents here is the same thing as one half of a dollar, okay? So just to be clear, uh, just in case some of you out there 
are not familiar with the U.S. Uh, US currency uh, system. So a dollar, okay, one dollar bill, right, is equal to 100 cents, okay? So we can express anything less than one dollar as a decimal, like 0.75 of a dollar is the same thing as 75, 75 cents, okay? But it's 0.75 of a dollar, okay? So 0 0.5 of a dollar, because that is the unit of measure, is what? Well, that is one half of a dollar, okay? So 50.50 uh, of a dollar, right? Because we're dealing with a dollar 50. Again, I know I'm redundant here, but I wanna make sure that everyone understands this. This is uh, the same as one half of a dollar. So we need to take that one half and multiply it by 200. So if I said, hey, these tiles, if I said uh, they don't cost 50 cents, they cost uh, one half of a dollar, right? Let's suppose I expressed uh, a, uh, the cost in that manner, which of course we don't do that, right? Like, hey, these tiles are one half of a dollar. No, you would say 50 cents. But if 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 you did think of the cost in terms of uh, in, as a fraction, one half of a dollar, and you need 200 tiles, well, one half times 200, okay, just like we took this 200 and multiplied by one, we got 200 here. 200 times one half is what? Or one half of 200 is 100 or 100 dollars. So 200 plus 100, of course, is 300, which is our answer. So uh, just to be clear here on how to multiply fractions, so 200 times one half, right? Again, I want to make sure that I'm not going too fast for anybody. So we're going to take 200 and multiply it by one half. So the way you multiply fractions is we're going to put this um, 200 over one, so we have a fraction, okay? So then we're going to multiply the respective numerators times denominators. So 200 times one is 200. This is how we multiply fractions. One times two is two. 200 divided by two is 100, or $100 in this case. So 50 cents times 200 is uh, $100. Now, I know I'm being rather redundant here, but uh, again, I'm trying to explain how we need to reason through in our brain to figure this out. Now, most of you out there, I suspect, got this right as long as you understand, you know, uh, the area of a rectangle, okay? So if you understand the area of a rectangle and you kind of understand the concept of, you know, the cost of a tile, particularly uh, what square feet means, well, then that is fantastic. And, of course, uh, all of us out there know that this is a very practical type of, uh, you know, problem that we're going to, you know, need math in order to figure out how much we need to spend in order to do little projects around our house. So, you know, again, don't feel bad if you weren't able to do this in your brain, but I think this is a uh, problem, or these, uh, you know, the math skills needed to do this problem is something that you should strive to be able to do quick mental calculations. And if you don't have fun with this, if you don't practice, you're not going to strengthen your brain. So a lot of you might be saying, hey, Mr. D2 Math Man, what's the whole practical value of doing this? If I have a calculator, you know, a piece of paper or a pencil, well, of course, you know, you're probably going to double check yourself and get your calculator out. But uh, the real benefit here, in my humble opinion, is to really kind of strengthen your brain. All right. Our brains are like, you know, muscles. They are a muscle. And if you don't work it out in you know various ways, well, you know what? Your brain uh, will have a, a tendency to kind of, you know, uh, forget a lot of the math or skills or you know, just it, this is really more like a brain exercise. So have fun with it. So don't uh, feel bad, you know, if you didn't understand, you know, or weren't able to do the problem in your brain. But as long as you understand the math, that is the most important thing. OK, now one thing uh, before I wrap this uh, video up, I want to let you know that I do have full main math courses. If you like my teaching style and you do need to do a review some uh, basic math, excuse me, uh, review some basic math or any other level of mathematics, check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And what we're talking about here is a very basic level type of math. So you might want to check out like my math foundations course or maybe my math skills rebuilder course. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.